Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week we're off to the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia to experience the full force of one of the highest energy tides on Earth. The dream of harnessing large-scale tidal energy is very compelling. If it's going to happen anywhere, it's in Nova Scotia. They've got the Fundy Ocean Research Centre for Energy, or FORCE. It's Canada's leading research centre for in-stream tidal energy, and it's right on the Bay of Fundy. We went out in the water with Matt Lumley of FORCE to experience the power of the Bay of Fundy. The most recent model suggests we've got about 7,000 megawatts of potential here, and we can safely extract about 2,500 megawatts. To give you an idea that the maximum peak capacity in Nova Scotia is about 2,300 megawatts. So we have more power here than all the power that Nova Scotia demands on its coldest day in the winter when everyone's home with the lights on and the furnace running and the engine on. There's more power here on a peak flow than all that demand. We're in the Minas Passage. Here the shoreline and the seabed pinch in and the water goes from moving at one meter per second to five meters per second. It's akin to taking your thumb and squeezing the end of a large garden hose. As you can see, this is challenging, but also exciting. The challenge is to do any kind of marine activity, to put in a tidal turbine, to retrieve a tidal turbine. It's one of the hardest places in the world to do that. It's also exciting because if you can do it here, you can really do it anywhere. So this is really the ultimate proving ground, both for tidal technologies and the, the industry itself. Whoa! Shortly after this, our Zodiac was swamped by a big wave, a testament to the power of the Fundy Tide. Once we got off the water, Matt Lumley explained the history of tidal technology and where it's going. Nova Scotia already lays claim to one of only three uh, tidal barrages in the world. That's like a, a tidal dam, much like a conventional hydroelectric dam where you simply build a dam across a tidal race and generate power. That is still in operation in Annapolis Royal and when it's in operation it generates about 20 megawatts of power. Um, there are impacts. Those impacts can affect the coastline and its ecosystems in a drastic way. So much so that these tidal barrage systems aren't much in favor anymore. What we're looking at is a new type of technology called in-stream, and it's called that because it's literally placed in the stream of the current, much like a windmill under the water. The Fundy Tidal Research Center has demarked an area of the Bay of Fundy. The environmental assessments have been done, and there's a grid connection. This is where some of the most promising in-stream tidal power technologies are being tested. In one of the first projects installed, the problem was not the technology, but that they actually underestimated the power of the tide. What had happened was the turbine went through one spring tide cycle where the power is the greatest, and on the second spring tide cycle, the blades had blown out. The reason they lost those blades is that that unit was operating at about two and a half times the anticipated power output. That's how little we knew about the resource when we started here. And every day that goes by, our research is showing us more and more of just how powerful this place is. There are plans to deploy several other technologies at this working in-stream tidal energy site. Not only does Nova Scotia have the FORCE Research Centre, it also has a feed-in tariff ready to support viable tidal energy projects. John Woods is with Minus Pulp and Power, a company that's working to harvest tidal energy in the Minus Passage. This represents one of the technologies and we have a plan that will have an array in place by 2015-16 delivering energy at about 12 and a half cents. Now with that comes an industry. It really the, the Bay of Fundy isn't about, isn't about electricity, it's about creating an industry unlike anything else we've seen in the past. 2,500 megawatts at a $5 million a megawatt capital cost is a $10 billion industry with about a $300 million a year maintenance uh, industry. To learn more about tidal technology, check out our blog, podcast, and photos at greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. I'm David Dodge.